Hey everyone, I'm Jay. Today we're watching the 40th episode of Legend of the Galactic Heroes. The big 4 actually made 40. It's awesome. Uh, long ways to go. Last episode, Yulene is getting shipped out to Feza, which I do not know what this means. This is either really, really good or really, really bad, all depending on how it goes. And I don't think we're going to know for a while, so... Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. I'm just gonna be Yeah, just I don't know what to make of it. Like, who ordered him to be shipped to Fezzan? Was that mentioned? Did I miss that? Do I not remember that? I don't know. I don't know if that was like Trunic sending him out because I because he knew that would hurt Yang. Because you know Miss Greenhill's gonna get promoted or moved elsewhere to weaken him even more or something. I don't know. That, fe that feels like the next step to me. So Miss Greenhill is uh taken away from her post. I still can't believe Reinhardt's plan has actually worked. It's shocking to me. Ah, oh, a terrible plan. It's actually working. I just oh, don't even know. Don't even know. Oh. Okay, I'm weak. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, I mini mean, E sixteen. Got it. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Okay. Trying to be like Yang. So we're getting some old history now, huh? Hmm. It's one of the golden poles. <laughs> yes. Alright, I'm in. I'm in. I'm totally hooked now. Anytime I bring these space pirates, I immediately start, like, grin, like, my soul smiles. <laughs> It's like space is great, but space pirates are so freaking cool. Oh, rip space pirates.
Naturally. Whole lot of words right now. This is like a massive information dump. Oh, bro. oh boy. Right, history repeats itself. What? Okay. Ooh. Oof. It's rough. Yeah, history always repeats itself. <sighs> Ninety year war. That's a long war. Hmm. Yeah, I, I gotta say, this is not a great episode to react to. Because it's me simply trying to process everything I'm reading and not, I'm not reacting a whole lot, I'm just reading. Intently, like, or intensely. Beetlejuice! Yeah. Got it, got it. Hmm. Say it's unwritten. <laughs> Okay. Some the history on uh, Rudolph. Hmm. 
They're simply okay with being followers. Got it. Oh. Oh, so what did this entail? Whoa. I was thinking, like, you know, he ain't the worst, but now this is... Jesus, okay. Well, damn. Okay. I'm like, I'm not in favor of dictatorship, but weeding out the evils, the corrupt, and stuff like that. I'm totally down for that. That well, that part not so much. <laughs> I guess with, with the good comes the bad, apparently. My God. Yeah, I know that's that ain't the truth. What the hell? I feel like even for even remotely thinking that this, this guy was actually a semi decent human being. Jeez. He started out so well. <laughs> Those be the nobles. Yeah. Oh, rip. <laughs> ah, too bad.
Wow. Dark era. I guess it didn't go well for him. This is it's ridiculous. The ties that can be made to real life here are... Mm, it just hurts to think about. I said that about the politics in this. This is... Very rough. Like, outside of the space part. <laughs> hmm. Stop making 80 of them without being caught. How many survived? How many made it there? There we go, 160. That's it. That's a while, yeah. <laughs> 20 of that per so uh, a lot of emperors Someone was not expecting a fight. <laughs> Ooh. 
Ooh, big boom. Got big booms. Ah, okay. All right. That's when the Alliance has issues as well. Oh. Nice to see this map. I like this. They fi episode 40, I finally see this map. Yep, if it's a single planet. Alright, it's two billion people, but still. Couldn't one side or the other just do a full-scale raid and just take over the planet and be like, hey, this is our planet now, and we will handle trade on our own, and then control, say, both, uh, god, the term, it was just said like a minute ago. Both corridors. Why don't they just take over Fezzon? It's one planet! It doesn't really be that difficult. Seems a lot more easy than doing a full scale war. That was an interesting episode. Very dark. A lot darker than I was expecting, even in even if it's just a history lesson. Um yeah, freaking Rudolph. My god, that was absurd. Whew. Yeah, I got I have no words. That was that was something. That was definitely something. The Alliance started out incredibly small. It's only 160,000. I'm not sure they're even able to compete with the Empire knowing that. I mean, if they did, like, survive on their own for a period of time before the Empire found them. Still shocking. Then they get a whole bunch of defectors from the Empire and throws everything. Oh, God. I... Mm. You... No, 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 no. I'm going to move it. Okay. Yeah, I, again, I'm not sure what to think of it. Like, it was a good episode. Don't get me wrong. This is an episode that uh, would have been better just for me to watch on my own and not react to because I didn't react much. It was just, ah, uh, just one of those things. Um, 
Good to get the history, though. Good to see that map. That map was so important, because I was like, I know there's two corridors, but, but, like, what did this mean? And now I know. There's, like, two actual paths to travel through. Like, I'm curious what's outside those paths. Is it, like, black holes or something? Like, I don't know. Non-traversable space? How does that work in space? I don't get that. That, that I just don't understand. But, um... Yeah, Rudolph, not a good guy. Not a good guy. I just want to put that out there. Not a good guy. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I got to say. It was a history lesson. That's what I got. Let me know what you thought. Bye-bye.